Hey, what's going on, you far-right conspiracy theorists? How you doing, people? I'm Dave Rubin. This is a bonus mini Rubin Report direct message for today, March 19th, 2021. As you know, we already put up our Friday Bonanza panel this morning with Richie McGinnis from The Daily Caller and with Lauren Chen and with Sarah Gonzalez from The Blaze. I normally only do uh, one show a day, but Joe Biden fell and everyone's freaking out and I had to be in studio anyway because in about an hour from now, I'm doing an event that'll be actually live streamed on the, uh, on the Facebook there uh, with Students for Liberty UK. We're doing that uh, in about an hour from now. So I was already in studio, had the jacket on and we thought, all right, let's talk about this Biden thing. Uh, and it's not about Biden falling. We're gonna show you the video of Biden falling. I'm guessing that most of you who are online creatures, right? You're people of the internet. You've probably seen the video already of Biden falling today on his way up the stairs, uh, getting on Air Force One. And look, people fall. Let's get all the disclaimers out first. People fall. People fall down the stairs, and sometimes people fall up the stairs. The falling up of the stairs is always sort of funnier and more ridiculous because you generally think gravity is gonna take you down, but every now and again, you might miss a step, you might have a, a, uh, you know, a slippery shoe. There could be something on the floor. It could be a little windy. The White House is now saying it was very windy. There's no evidence that it was very windy. It was a mild breeze. And as you'll see when you see the video in a moment, it had clearly nothing to do with the wind. But anyway, the point is, this is not about the guy falling. People fall. What I want to focus on just for the 10 or so minutes that we're going to do this live stream is the media reaction, or I should say the media lack of reaction, because you guys may remember when Donald Trump lifted a glass with two hands. Remember he drank water? This is coffee, but he drank water with two hands and people wrote many, many pieces about how he might have Parkinson's or there's something wrong with him or he's having neurological problems or all sorts of stuff, mainstream pieces, right? Uh, then of course we remember Donald Trump walking down that ramp that he gingerly walked down and apparently it had rained a little bit before and he walked gingerly down and everybody everywhere was telling us that there's something wrong with him and he doesn't have balance and all the rest of it. Well, okay, flash forward the last year and we've seen endless episodes of Joe Biden not knowing where he is, not knowing what he's saying, reading teleprompters wrong, forgetting that he's the president and not Kamala Harris, a series of things. Okay, it is what it is. It's not really being covered by mainstream media. As I keep saying, the scandal is the non-scandal. The scandal is not that there's something wrong with Joe Biden. Everyone that has half a brain understands that already. The scandal is the non-scandal, meaning the fact that the mainstream media is hiding something that we can see in front of our faces, which is what they do, right? Buildings blowing up behind Ali Velshi on MSNBC, and he's telling you it's a largely peaceful protest. Mainstream media is punking you all the time. So let's go to the video. This is Biden boarding Air Force One today. Okay, I will be totally honest with you. Look, I've given Biden a hard time. Obviously, I didn't vote for Biden. I think the Democratic Party is, is in many ways destroying anything remotely close to an America that I wanna live in. Um, but you know, the President of the United States is the guy that's flying the plane, right? That's an analogy I've heard some people use. He's flying the plane and whether you like uh, the pilot or not, or you like everything about him or not, you want the pilot to be able to fly the plane. There's obviously something wrong with this guy. Now, he just fell there. When I initially saw it this morning, and I knew it was gonna explode, right? You can just see when you see a viral video with just a couple views and you're like, oh, this thing is just gonna catch fire and grow, go across the internet. My initial feeling was not like it's funny or it's great or anything like that. Like, immediately I started bouncing around my mind, like, what are the funny parts of this? Like the, you know, I f I've fallen and I can't get up video from way back when, and or Peter, uh, from Family Guy falling and ah, ah, like you've all seen all these things, right? So there's like a lot of funny things, but like the fact that this old man is basically being abused and that there's so many people that know it and even putting all of that aside, even if he was 100% watching a 78 year old man, the President of the United States fall uh, and struggle to get up a couple times. I mean, in essence, he fell three times there. Like it's, it's not the most fun thing in the world. And again, that's not why I'm doing the this video, I'm doing this video for a reason that we're gonna to get to in just a moment, but let's just watch it again, because he, he falls three times. Okay. 
Okay, so obviously we know what the media is gonna do. They're either gonna ignore it or cover up for it. As I said, the White House said it had something to do with the wind. It had nothing to do with the wind. So what I did, because I'm a crack detective over here, people, and we don't have journalists anymore, so me sitting here in my sweatshorts, I'm wearing uh, Air Jordan Jumpman 23 sweatpants right now, by the way, sweatshorts. Um, I decided, let me do a little Googling because maybe I can do a little something somewhat close to in the ballpark of journalism. And I took a video, I Googled it on my phone, I, you know, something about uh, Trump uh, falling down the stairs, or Trump, uh, what was the exact phrase that I used? Let's pull it up there. Yeah, we can pull it up. I wanna get the exact, I wanna quote myself correctly. It was Trump going down the ramp, something to that effect. That's what I put in Google. And then I just did a video. So you're looking at the video right now and we're just scrolling through. And there's page after page of articles uh, you know, worrying about Trump's health because he walked down the ramp slowly. And it's New York Times, and it's WAPO, Washington Post, it's CNN, it's Yahoo, it's New York Magazine, it's People Magazine, it's Vanity Fair, it's Forbes, it, it's the whole bunch of them. Let, let's just show that again because uh, I think it's worth noting. Like, there's a, just like an endless amount of articles. This literally took me one second to do. And it's like, do you think now that all of these places that I just mentioned, the New York Times, Washington Post, Vanity Fair, CNN, do you think they're gonna be writing articles about Biden's health and how this is evidence of something as they did with Trump? Of course not, and that's why this is the bigger issue. That's why I spend so much time talking about the media because it doesn't matter in a way, in a de very depressing way, what is true if we can't get to what is true because the media causes a filter for you to see certain things one way and then when it goes against their narrative, to see it another way. So a guy by the name of Drew Holden, who's a good follow on Twitter, at Drew Holden 360, not that anyone should be on Twitter, right before I started, so we didn't have time to put the images up, uh, he tweeted out two images from the New York Times. So the New York Times today, in response, they finally did comment on the Joe Biden falling thing, which by the way, Twitter trends, last I checked a few minutes ago, didn't even show Biden falling, even though that's all that everyone's talking about. It has like a whole bunch of other nonsense on there. But the New York Times uh, did write a piece about Biden falling. It says, President Biden was doing 100% fine after falling off balance while boarding Air Force One on Friday, according to a press secretary. The president exited the plane when he arrived in Atlanta without an issue. Okay, well, that's what the press secretary said. That sounds right. But then of course, Drew Holden, and this is why some people hate Twitter because we can catch you. We can catch what you guys used to do, New York Times. Here's the New York Times headline on Donald Trump. Uh, with the ramp. Trump's halting walk down ramp raises new health questions. The president also appeared to have trouble raising a glass of water to his mouth during a speech at West Point a day before he turned 74, the oldest a president has been in his first term. Do you see, do you see what I'm talking about there? So one is, press secretary said he fell, fell, came off the plane, he was just fine. The other one, new questions. We've got questions, people, and he drank water slowly, uh, you see? So look, that, that's what the problem is. That's what the problem is, that we are, we are stuck fighting. It's not that we have good and bad or right and wrong or left and right or conservative or liberal or all of those things that would seemingly be a fair fight on the same plane. We have basically Democrats and the media versus the rest of us. I don't even have to say conservatives there or this disaffected liberals or whatever it is. It's just like this machine that lies to protect the Democrats that is consumed, that has in essence taken over the New York Times and Washington Post and all of the places where people get mainstream media. And it's just, it's just a problem. It's just a problem. Uh, that being said, I don't like leaving you guys on Friday with problems. So if you are interested, do tune in in about 45 minutes from now to my event. Uh, with Students for Liberty, we're actually, I think we're doing a, a full book review. We have unlimited, I said, I don't want any questions in advance, a book review of Don't Burn This Book. It's from uh, the good folks at Students for Liberty UK. So if you just search their Facebook page, we'll be live streaming right here and that'll roll us into the weekend. And more than anything else, I hope, uh, I hope you have a nice weekend. Relax, don't be too political. If you wanna hang out with me and chat and talk and, and see what we're eating and drinking and what music we're listening to and some dog pictures and, and I talk to tons of people, uh, on the app all the time. Join us at rubenreport.locals.com. Of course, you can download the Locals app either in the Apple App Store or on Google Play if you've got the Android. Uh, and uh, just one more reminder, our 
Friday panel was this morning with Richie McGinnis from Daily Caller, Sarah Gonzalez from Blaze TV, and Lauren Chen, who's one of my favorite political analysts of the day. Uh, we talk all about media bias, actually, so it quite fits what I just did here. All right, have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday.